Welcome to Mission Messiah Television, and I am honored today to have a good friend and brother in Christ with me. Uh, many of you will recognize uh, the gentleman to my immediate left, Dr. Richard Bartlett. Hey, Jamie. Good to see you, Doc. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, Richard and I visited here just uh, not too many weeks ago, maybe a month and a half uh, or so ago, both of us with grave concerns uh, over the narrative being perpetrated upon the people of our great nation as well as the world the world as well as the world but you know what since we last visited uh, dr. Bartlett uh, has uh, uh, been on another television show over in Dallas the name of that show was is America can we talk yes. with Debbie Giorgiato so if you go to YouTube you can look up America can we talk and then you'll find three interviews I did there on Debbie's show, one with a congressman, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Abraham, okay. a godly man, a very wise man, thank God he's in the House of Representatives from Louisiana, and uh, also uh, several patients. Now, have you met with uh, uh, Hall? Hall so I know uh, Senator Bob Hall, Hall right. and uh, he is, a, he is a, a patriot with a heart for the people of Texas. Amen. And guys, that's what that's what we're about. I mean, our, our heart obviously is first fixed on the upon, upon the Lord Jesus Christ. But uh, since Richard and I last visited, I believe you have launched a new website even that uh, we want to give you early in the show right here so that you can go ahead and, and uh, put that down. We will share it with you uh, at different places through the show. But what is that new website? Jamie, uh, doctors and uh, people from around the world are reaching out to me. Yeah, covidsilverbullet.com covidsilverbullet.com will have the treatment protocol it will have my science paper that's 14 pages with 51 references that support this treatment strategy from uh, articles from well reputed uh, magazines and journals uh, for the last 20 years supporting this treatment strategy with an FDA approved all the medicines are FDA approved that I'm uh, representing yeah, right. uh, and uh, they're, they're, they've been well studied and so you can get those and, and a lot of other data facts science uh, instead of these uh, things that we've been having to uh, listen to for six months seven yeah. months from yeah. the top yeah uh, that have, have changed continually oh yes one it's day it's this hot the next cold day. north yeah. south up down exactly and uh, you know actually what was put out from January uh, things that have been disproved, Jamie, uh, they've they've had to backtrack. It's I'm sure it's very embarrassing. Oh, um, uh, but the, you know some of the things are late care only. You know if you got mild to moderate symptoms, right. all of us have heard that narrative over and over. It's been in our face. If you got mild to moderate symptoms, stay home. Don't seek help. Doctors, if your patients have mild to moderate symptoms, let's say they're really sick and they come to the ER and, and they get tested positive for COVID. Go tough it out at home with Tylenol. You're not sick enough. Come back when you're sick enough. Uh, late treatment, late strategy. That is un-American. That is not the American healthcare no. system that was number one in the world. But I'll tell you, Jamie, another thing is from the beginning, doctors were told don't use corticosteroids for COVID. That was the narrative from the top. And that's, uh, they're being embarrassed. Uh, the University of Oxford had a study that came out showing using, even when people are on death's door in the ICU and they ha uh, uh, they're given corticosteroids, dexamethasone IV, a third grader survival rate. Wow. Wow. It, uh, it makes me wonder, Jamie, did they know this stuff before they started telling us this? Did well, they know uh, the truth and they refused to tell us? Or, or were they really unaware? No. But at this point, after seven months, we got to say, if they, did, if they didn't know, uh, why not? Mission Messiah is an 18-month program for women and women with children. Those real-life experiences are what should make truth easily entreated. Our desire is to see women set free from life-debilitating substances and events. Our program is solidly based on Jesus Christ and His plan of living. Our emphasis on biblical study, scripture memorization, life skill development, and renewed family living is interconnected to bring wholeness back to hopeless lives. And the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 
WOW Warehouse and Zip Business Services developed out of the need for practical job training and discipleship. They are flourishing businesses filled with our graduates and trainees. Is Mission Messiah the answer for someone you know? I ask that same question, Richard, because basically what we have now learned is most everything that they gave us as protocol to follow has actually worked to enhance the virus. Well, I'll tell you, um, for 20 years, when there's an epidemic that breaks out in China, a communist state, they're, they're, for the last 20 years, you see B-roll of people in China walking down the streets with masks on. That's something that looks so bizarre in America up until January when that was the strategy that we were told from the top by the people who said don't use corticosteroids. But now, if you'll look at the interview with the U.S. Congressman Dr. Ralph Abraham from Louisiana, who is a very humble man but very wise, who's treated hundreds of patients with COVID successfully in Louisiana, mm -hmm. and all of them have lived, and this, the foundation of the strategy is corticosteroids, which is what I have been talking about. And he said after he came across what I'm doing, he suggested what he's doing because he sees that inhaled corticosteroids, inhaled budesonide, mm -hmm. which is a corticosteroid, which has been proven to be safe for over 25 years for two pound premature babies in the ICU to the elderly wow. fragile in the nursing homes. For 25 years, there's nothing uh, that's a, harmful. A, a harmful or dangerous. We know it's cheap, $3 a treatment. Um, he's been using uh, uh, oral corticosteroids, but he's, he's now seeing that if you use the respiratory corticosteroids, it's safe if someone has diabetes. Because if you use oral corticosteroids, mm -hmm. or if you give it as an IV, you're going to cause someone with diabetes to have their sugar get out of control, which is a problem. Okay. And so you, you, inhaling. you're targeting the problem. Because COVID, is a, cor COVID is a respiratory inflammatory disease. And Inhaled budesonide is a respiratory anti-inflammatory solution. And Jamie, it's an answer to prayer, literally. Well, and you know I'm all about anti-inflammatory. You've been uh, helping me with uh, the gout issues for a number of years now. And uh, when you get those things inflamed, whether it be your respiratory Inflammation system or whether is not it be our your friend. joints, it is not our friend. But it is a warning sign. Yes. Uh, and uh, can be addressed. And what you're saying is this silver bullet uh, addresses this inflammation of the respiratory system. It's a game changer. I'm getting yeah. emails and texts from people I've never met. The other day when I was in Dallas to shoot another uh, interview at uh, America Can We Talk with the congressman, uh, I woke up to uh, a phone call from California and it was a, con it was a gentleman uh, with a hoarse voice and he said, uh, I said, this is Dr. Bartlett, and he says, Dr. Bartlett, you saved my life. Wow. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, I was uh, getting sicker. I went to my doctor. I received this medicine and this medicine. And on Saturday, I thought I was going to die. I finally talked my doctor into giving it to me. I, by the way, I'm an attorney, so I was able to get his attention. And, uh, and I, <laughs> felt, one way. I felt better with the first treatment. I could breathe. He said, it's amazing. Um, that, that is the reports I'm getting from around the world, literally. I'm getting calls from El Salvador, Colombia, um, Honduras, yeah. uh, Australia, yeah. UK. Yeah. Uh, people around the world are downloading my protocol. The yeah. Netherlands, yeah. Uh, doctors are, and they're enacting it and saving their patients. Saving lives. Saving and, lives. And I just want to point that out right here. I've, I've known Dr. Bartlett for a long time, and the thing that I've, I've always known about Richard is that he does not do what he does for monetary reason or purpose. And I think you would see that even in this. This is something that he has a genuine concern for the welfare and for the well-being of individuals. And what we are concerned about, one of the reasons that, that we want this message to go far and wide is because we see how many individuals are literally succumbing to the fear and literally being duped by this narrative, this false narrative 
that is being perpetrated throughout the earth. Jamie, what's the fruit of this for the last seven months where they're saying, be afraid, be very afraid, and then you'll have the main uh, spokesman get up and say, I'm concerned about a new wave. I'm concerned about a new pandemic coming from China. Mm -hmm. uh, and, he, and we keep hearing these things from someone who has told us all these other things that have been proven to be incorrect. Absolutely. is a mild statement. Absolutely. And, and by the way, I'm wondering if this person has ever been to Wuhan. Hmm. You know, they've called it the Wuhan flu. I wonder if anyone's checked his passport hmm. to see if he might have been to Wuhan before hmm. this epidemic, uh, pandemic broke out. I, I personally want to know that. I think the American people want to know that. Well, uh, and I believe, I believe that same gentleman was one of the ones that uh, early advised, don't wear a mask. Uh, and he then, said that one more time. We it's, had a it's flip. All, yeah, I would, you know, some people might call it a flip flop. Uh, I'm thinking hokey pokey would be a good nickname. Uh, put your left foot in, put your left foot out, uh, put the mask on, put your mask <laughs> off. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe Dr. Uh, maybe Dr. Fear. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God and whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Fear. But the bottom okay. line is uh, We're science, the truth. science and truth. And truth. truth prevails. And the cat is out of the bag and the cat is a lion. And uh, the cat, the, the, the truth that we have an answer, uh, we have a solution for the problem of COVID is out. It's yeah. out worldwide, Jamie. It, it is. And, and I want to show you something I was just showing your sister a moment ago. Uh, I, someone sent this to me yesterday, and it, it was pretty fascinating. But right now, you can take your telephone, and you can go to one of your search platforms and choose three digits, any three digits that you want to choose. Uh, and I'm going to put, uh, if I get a signal back here, I'm going to put, uh, uh, we've got, uh, I'm going to put in, give me a number, a uh, three-digit number. All right, I'm going to put one out there that I think might fit. Okay. 666. Oh, let's go 666. That's an interesting number, isn't it? I yes. think we've read about that. Oh, look, it, it'll already come up for me. But I'm going to put 666, and you can do this on your phone with your own search engines. Uh, I'm going to put 666 new cases, okay? Okay, here we go. 666 new cases. Well, I'm, I cleared myself right smooth out. 666, new cases, and then we're going to go, okay? Oh my goodness gracious, I have, I have an entire uh, run of new 666 cases today of COVID. Here's 666 uh, new Florida coronavirus cases, 666 of them. Oh, we can back up here. We've got uh, 666 uh, new cases uh, up here in uh, uh, over China, all around the world. You can put in any number, three-digit number, as of as of even just a few moments ago, and it'll pull up news stories from all over the world of that specific number 
of cases. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, but what I do know is that patients are getting better. And uh, doctors around the country are coming, uh, the light is coming on, we're, they're all coming to the same revelation that corticosteroids, which we were steered away from from the beginning, uh, are actually a powerful tool in the fight against COVID. And that's because the killer with COVID, it's a different kind of killer. 20% uh, of the people that get COVID are at risk of dying if they're not treated early. And, the tr and using corticosteroids will interfere with the cytokine storm, the inflammatory chemicals that are released that are causing multi-organ failure and death. And so um, we're having doctors using a variation, this, this and that variation, but people are living and not dying. I'm that? thrilled with that. You would think that other people would, would be, be excited, excited about, about that, but I'm, uh, it's interesting. There are some people that absolutely are um, aggressive uh, in, in uh, not letting people hear this information, but it's already out. It's out. It's out. Cats out of the bag, as you Cats said. Cats out of the bag. Uh, you know, I, I believe one of the concerns, one of the things that we need to look at, guys, and and we're, we're going to move, we're going to move this now to, to some more spiritual foundation here. But we know, uh, we know clearly, according to the Word of God, that things would be terrible in the last days. We know that that place comes where individuals must have a mark if they're going to buy or sell. That's why Richard chose 666 as, as that number to look up a moment ago. But the reality is many of these things are unfolding before our very eyes. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for You are with me. Your rod and Your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We have, and you've heard me talk about it, right now we have, we have uh, different levels of truth that are all laying down upon each other. Everything first and foremost from the Word of God, uh, within God's Word, He lays down a calendar. It's God's calendar. We see that manifest in, in feast days of things of that nature. God lays down from Genesis 1 and 14 that He placed the, and uses the celestial bodies, sun, moon, and stars, as signs for us. Well, they're all stacked on top of each other right now, perfectly confirming the hour in which we are living. And so there is nothing about this that should surprise us. The last thing it should do is uh, strike us with debilitating fear. Because we have a doctor right here giving you an anecdote to this particular situation. And yet, let's look at the reality of this. Did you know that to date, correct me if I'm wrong, doctor, but less than 1% have actually lost their lives? To so, uh, you know, we're in Texas, and so it's been l uh, less than 4,000 that have passed from uh, COVID, and one life uh, is too much to lose. But it's uh, a little, uh, little north of 3,000 in Texas with COVID. But we lose 11,000 a year from the flu every year. And so in we Texas. in Texas, and so in we Texas. have never shut. We've mm -hmm. never shut the schools. We've yeah. never destroyed small businesses in Texas. We've never done the radical things. By the way, the flu is a respiratory inflammatory disease that does kill thousands of people. And, Every year, and, and the people that are more at risk would be people that are immune compromised, the elderly, nursing homes. But we have never told people wear masks, social distance, stay at home, only 10 people together. Uh, do you remember that, Jamie? I don't remember us using that strategy to save lives in Texas with a, a respiratory infectious disease never. that can kill people. This was a, an absolute 
new approach. And you know but, where that came from? Well, you know, we can go back to October of 2019 to a meeting that was called the 201 event where the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, held an international conference uh, and literally discussed the, the putting forth of an international pandemic. Uh, within, this, within this meeting, even the narratives that would be used in the media were addressed as to how to most effectively perpetrate this message that they wanted to get out to run this pandemic. You know, no matter what the enemy says, we know that God never lies. And he said, we'll never be in a test without him providing a way of escape. And so we are never without. And our God is never surprised. And, he, and in Jeremiah 33, 3, he promises that if you call on me, I'll show you secret things that you did not know. Amen. And I tell you, he always has the provision before the problem. And so these medicines that, uh, that, he, that I believe he answered my prayer with, uh, I was convinced on that ER shift when I was pressing into God that he answered my prayer that day and, and gave me a winning strategy for this, for the people that I'm going to be in front of. Not because I'm a scientist, but because I'm a doctor and I care about people and because Amen. I called on him and he'll answer anyone. And so, you know, our God is the God of the living and, and our God is a living God. But uh, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, Jamie, and uh, we're basically seeing a big divide. Uh, there's people in all agencies now that are good and not so good. Right. And uh, I'm seeing this, uh, they're presenting themselves right now. There's a big divide. And you know, God said that uh, there would be a, a, a deception that tries to come on the whole earth in the last days. And uh, if it were possible, even the elect, elect would, be would be deceived. And so you have to use discernment. You cannot just swallow anything that is given to you. You, you need to pray about it. You need to use discernment. You need, you there's, in, there's safety in the multitude of counselors, it says. Absolutely. But, but uh, as Richard's saying right there, we want to exhort you today. Don't just take what we're saying. Go to God. Ask God. Open your Bibles. Read the Word. And see if, if what we're saying is not true. God loves every single one of us. His desire, He's long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, but that all of us should come to repentance. So basically what we have right here and Richard, you and I have not talked a lot about it, but y'all, we honestly, uh, America, to a great extent, has forsaken the Lord God Almighty. And we know throughout history, when God's people do that, when God's children resist Him and rebel against Him, ultimately, the curse is coming. Ultimately, judgment is forthcoming. And again, it's not because He's not a loving God. It's honestly for the very purpose of, of restoring us to Him, for us doing an about face, being a prodigal and heading home to our Heavenly Father. But to tie in with your last word, God has just done one more, I'm going to do a study on this soon, but God's done one more amazing thing the last two or three months since this started, the end of March. I happened to catch it, not before last. Yes. But another amazing comet. I like good comet, news. Another amazing comet yes. in the sky. Because you see, God speaks to us through the heavenlies. And He has just given us Neo Wise Comet. It was a magnificent comet in the northern sky that could be seen in Aruga. Now, now uh, and, and basically, that constellation is the Good Shepherd hmm. holding How about his that? kids in this hour and he is just to the to the north of Taurus which is the Ramu raging bull of judgment so you see God's loving protection is that also entered Ursa Major Ursa Major is is the gatherer 
So we see our Father in this hour, although there is judgment in the air, He is gathering those that will submit themselves unto Him. Jamie, Psalm 91. Amen. Though a thousand fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, there is a safe place for God's people, Amen. for all people, if they'll if they're willing to humble themselves, and to trust in the Lord, uh, there's safety. And uh, if you'll look at it, uh, we're talking about pestilence, we're talking about disease, we're talking about COVID. It's all in the world. And so we are seeing uh, judgments, but we're also seeing the merciful God, the God of Loving love, Father. that makes a way when there is no way, has made a way. Uh, out yes. of this COVID. And it's a matter of, I've had uh, government leaders reaching out to me, either through their chief of staff or directly. Absolutely. And so I know that uh, Congressman Abraham said he had talked to Vice President Pence about my treatment strategy. Amen. And so we know that the head of the White House Task Force for the co Coronavirus has heard has of a winning strategy. We'll see what he does with it, uh, but he, he is informed and you're aware that he's informed now. And uh, so we know uh, that uh, God makes a way. He Amen. is faithful. He is faithful and true. The Lord bless you. Stacy loves her daughter. When danger came to her door, she was trained and was ready.